So my name is Leonora Tunis and I'm an artist based in Berlin. Although I really work with space, my real interest is about sculpture. In this room, there are a lot of pieces which are repeated in the room, but they are not exactly the same. But they look the same, but they are different, the thickness is different, the curves are different. I mean, I wanted to break the symmetry of the room. And this room is like very symmetric. It has these four columns and it's an open space, so there's no walls. I, don't, I didn't want to create walls, like fake walls in the space. I never do that. But I try to, with my sculptures, I try to block certain spaces, you know, or certain parts of the room. Always in a way that are not completely opaque, but they are translucent or you can see through, or also the idea of the layerings. So you never see one piece isolated, but you always see this piece in relation with other sculptures. So there's one piece of rope that goes, that weaves the whole ceiling and trying really to modulate the space with these uh, ropes. So there's a lot of rope in this room. <laughs> and I wanted to open the skylights, so it's not only, you know, working with lines and sculptures and volumes, but also with how light and the floor. I think this floor makes also the space uh, a bit lifting up. In this specific space, I have this floor piece, which I've done. I fill the space with cork and uh, linoleum. It's based on one of her drawings of a Mary Martin, which is blown up to the scale of the room. So the relation with uh, Mary Martin's work is more trying to think about how you know, she worked with drawing and with patterns and the idea of repetition in her work. I'm uh, showing some jewelries by Lucia Nogueira, which was an artist living in the UK. She was Brazilian. And I've chosen only the pieces that I found that were interesting for this context, so it's pieces made with just one wire. Though people tend to think that I'm very interested in architecture and design, and I mean, I'm interested in a certain type of craft. If I have to produce works outside of my studio, I don't want to produce them in like big companies, you know, I'm not so interested in that. I'm more interested in the relationship I can establish with certain people. And then slowly with time and our understanding of each other, then we, I slowly started to introduce my work into their practice.